Good morning. Good afternoon. I guess it's afternoon. Um, at the time I'm recording this anyways. But uh, it's been a while since I have created a actual YouTube video. So here we are. Um, and I'm going to start off with kind of like motivation today. Because here's the reality. Um, despite whatever knowledge I think I have or however my brain works, um, the things that I probably have to offer, but like, don't put out there. Um, I think it's important to know that like everybody feels, um, inadequate, uh, pretty regularly. And so, um, that's kind of where I wanted to start at. Like, Don, why haven't you, I've had people like literally ask, like, what you were doing videos so regularly, like, why don't you still do them? Um, and I legit have a list because I'm me and I'm organized. If you know me, you know that, um, I have a list of topics that I made for making videos for YouTube. <laughs> like I literally have prepared, um, and have on my dream board the past couple of years, like about making sure I regularly do videos. And, um, but the reality is that I did not feel adequate. Um, a lot of stuff has happened the past couple of years, a lot of changes to my workflow, like being able to be, um, home all the time. Um, not having regular standard nine to five, um, coming out of COVID. We'll get to that later. Um, heart failure, um, because of COVID, uh, like it's just been a lot the past few years and I've made a lot of changes to my business and like literally last year, like took a step back and revisited everything in my business, every tool, every verbiage I was using, every, everything I was doing in my business, I revisited, um, everything I was doing for my team, my customers, all of it. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it all aligned with like who I am and where I want to go and could be easily taught and exponentially grown, um, as I grow my business. Cause this business has no ceiling. And I felt like I was doing a lot of things that like would put a cap on that. Um, and so like a lot of things happened last year. Um, I didn't do as much recruiting. I didn't do as much sales. I didn't do, um, I didn't earn the trip. Like things happened that I normally do. And it freaked me out a little bit. Um, uh, I went into it knowing that would happen. Cause when you go and you dig deep, um, things change and that's what's happening. Um, and we're on an uphill climb now that I've come out of it, but being in that space with myself was very vulnerable and I didn't feel like being in that space led me to a place where I felt like I had anything to offer. I was like, if I'm revisiting everything and unsure about everything, like what do I have to share? <laughs> nobody has <laughs> needs anything from my confusion. <laughs> I don't need to add to that for other people. Um, and so I just stopped sharing. It's my water bottle. It's ginormous. If you know, you know. Um, but in reality, the more I thought about it and the more I talked to people about it, like this is like maybe the best moment to share. Um, because I think a lot of people are in that place. Um, so COVID obviously changed the world we live in. It just did. Um, some things crazy, some things good, right? Like it just, it changed things and that's not a bad thing, but we live in a space where that means we have to adjust. 
um, adjusting involves growth. <laughs> it involves flexibility. It involves vulnerability. Um, and those things are really, really hard. And then while we are going through that ourselves, uh, I think it's important to remember that everyone else is too. Um, and I think we feel alone and I've like been sitting back kind of watching this the past couple, the past year and a half or so, um, where we feel alone, we feel like we're sitting in it alone. And in reality, we all went through it together and we all process it differently. Um, but we aren't alone in the under underlying current of it. Right. Um, everybody has had to adjust to COVID adjust to coming out of COVID. Um, everybody has had to adjust to going back to the office, um, not being at home as much, going on vacations again, um, kids being back in school, kids being back in activities, um, and like the flux of our business flowing along that means that for a couple of years there, people were very into what we were doing without us having to do a lot because people wanted something to do with their extra time. They wanted their house to smell good because they were in it literally 24 seven. Um, they didn't have, they were on the internet a lot more. They didn't have the distractions of all the activities and the things. Um, and I, and I say this a little bluntly, but also it needs to be said. Um, there are people who went into 2020 on fucking fire. Um, they had their systems, they had their things set up, their business was rocking. Uh, and then because of the ease of COVID times with people being at home, with people being on the internet all the time, with people wanting something to do with their free time. So they were, oh yeah, I'll join your team and make some extra cash while I'm sitting at home. Like there was an ease in some of that stuff that people stepped back from the systems they had in place, from the tools they'd been utilizing, um, from their follow-up, from their whatever, their join conversations, their everything. And their business kept going because of what was going on unusually in our environment with a pandemic, right? Um, and now that everybody's back to their routines again, or some semblance of a routine again, and they're not in their house all the time, and they're doing all the things, and they're back at work, and they're whatever, their priority with Sunsi has shifted. And a lot, I see a lot of people, and this is all network marketing, honestly, I'm saying Sunsi because that's my, my world, right? But like I just have lots of network marketing friends and it's all kind of the same. Like people who did not work consistently, use their systems, do their things, do the, all the convos, act like the pandemic wasn't happening. The people who wrote it out and let their business work itself have literally not worked their business in three years um, and are struggling and wondering and trying to put the blame other places. And I'm not saying this to like point fingers. If you feel like the fingers are being pointed at you, I don't know how to help you with that, but maybe that means this is your light bulb moment, right? Um, and one of the best pieces of advice I ever got years ago um, that's always helped. And um, I believe it was Karen Fettis that said this. And because she said it to me numerous times throughout the pandemic, that's who I'm going to equate it to, um, is that no matter what's happening in the world, in the back end of the business, whatever the economy, if you work your business the same all the time through all of it and do all your systems, do all of your follow-up, do all of your conversations and you work your business consistently, no matter what is happening in the outside world to affect it, your business will be very consistent. You won't see this, right? You won't see the big spikes in the big dips. You'll see little waves, but you'll never worry about whether your business is going to be solid. You'll never be in like this, like crazy stressful situation of, oh no, um, now I haven't worked my business for three years and 
I feel like I'm starting from scratch. Yeah, you are. 2019 you would look you in the face and say, what are you doing? What did you expect to happen? You stopped working. When you stop, your business eventually stops, right? Um, and so I'm, I'm saying all of this, and this is my first video because it's been in my head for so long, um, is that it's okay to be in a vulnerable, vulnerable place. Um, last year I was in a very vulnerable place. I just, I didn't even stop working my business, but I felt like I really, after deciding to come and make Sensi full time, um, and leave a standard nine to five. And, um, I felt like everything needed adjusted. I felt really out of place. It was very strange. It was a weird jump. Um, coming out of COVID was weird to add on to that, like, um, adjusting to my new health issues was weird. Like I just had so many things that felt really vulnerable and like I wasn't in a good place. Um, just mentally. Uh, and so I revisited everything. And so I'm giving you permission. It's okay. If that's how your COVID years went, but when you point the finger at other things, there's three fingers pointing back at you, right? Um, and so take some responsibility for what you did or didn't do, be vulnerable about it and revisit things and show back up again. Um, you cannot go back. I tell my team this a lot. You cannot go back and change the past. We can't do that. Right. Um, it's not possible. Time travel hasn't happened yet. Um, <laughs> so like you can't go back and change the past, but you can start from today and write a new future, um, write a new story from this point forward. And so if, if where you're at is uncomfortable for you, what's the new story you're writing from this point forward? Um, it's okay to be vulnerable. You're not the only one. Um, start talking to humans because everyone else, <laughs> literally probably everyone else is feeling some sense of vulnerability. Um, but everybody's always like, I gotta be strong. I can't show that side. And so I'm just telling you, you don't have to always be strong and not show that side. Um, find your people who will tell you, and I'm telling you like those feelings are valid. There's nothing wrong with those feelings, but sitting in those feelings by yourself and not coming up with a way to get out of them and trying to put the blame on everybody else and everything else versus just putting in the effort to be vulnerable and do the work. Like, you know, that's a you problem. Um, so this is me telling you, this is me showing me showing back up. This is me telling you that you're worthy of showing back up. Um, you do have things to offer. You do have important stuff to share. Um, if your business is important, you show up for it. Um, that's just, that's how life is, right? Uh, we'll find the time, we'll find the energy, we'll find the effort, uh, if it's important to us, whether it's Sensi, your network marketing company, your hobby, your favorite TV show, whatever, you'll find the time for it. If it's important to you, um, and you're the only one who can show up and take care of it. So that's where I am today. Don't feel alone. Don't feel abandoned. Um, be vulnerable, show up. The world needs you. You're the only you. Um, and so show up and, and be loud and proud about that. Uh, and hopefully I'll start making my way through this list of YouTube videos that I have written down. <laughs> And you'll start seeing uh, at least a weekly video from me. So that's what I know today. Before the storm starts busting in and being really loud, I'm going to peace out. But I love you. Go be the amazing you that you are. Have a great day.